video, we're going to talk about the different connection types in BayesNets and how they affect the way that information uh, is going to flow throughout your Bayesian network. You may have seen these drawn out in a paper or in lecture notes, just like they are here in Charniak's um, Bayesian Networks Without Tears, which is an excellent paper. Then you have a linear type of connection, convergent type of connection, and a diverging type of connection. Uh, I made these three examples uh, the other day to illustrate a paper, and I realized that it was helpful to me to see them in action, um, so I wanted to share them with you. So starting up here with my converging type connection, um, I have two parents that are affecting one child. Uh, my parents are, is it raining? Is the sprinkler on? And my child is, is the ground wet? Um, before I have a finding in my uh, child node here, these parent nodes don't affect each other. If I know if the sprinkler's on or off or not, or I know if it's raining or not, it affects the probability uh, in my child node, but it doesn't affect the other parent node. However, if I know that my ground is wet, then if I also know that it's raining, it uh, explains away the possibility that my sprinkler is on. Vice versa, if I know my sprinkler is on, the probability of rain goes down. So that's called explaining away. Um, moving to the linear connection over here. So if I know, so I've got uh, my grandparent node is burglary, my parent node is, is the alarm going off, and my child knows, node is, is the security company there. So if I enter a finding in one end or the other, it ripples through and it affects the other two nodes. So if I know that there's a burglary going on, then that affects my probability for is the alarm going off, and it also affects my probability for is the security company there. However, if I know that my alarm is going off, and this is the center node, then once I know anything in my other nodes, it doesn't affect downstream or upstream, if that makes sense. Um, this is called uh, linear uh, or serial blocking. So once I know something in the middle, then anything I know at either end doesn't affect past the node that I've entered findings in. Um, in the diverging example, I have one parent node that is affecting two or more children child nodes. Um, so my parent node here is, is the roller coaster scary or is it not scary? Um, and my evidence is, uh, is somebody screaming or is somebody throwing up? So similar to the linear connection, if I am entering evidence in either of the child nodes, it affects the parent, which in turn affects the other child node. However, if I enter evidence in the parent node, then anything I enter down here in either of the children nodes does not affect the other one. So um, those are the three uh, con uh, connection types in action. I hope this was helpful to see how they actually work and how information um, is moving or not moving throughout your Bayes net. That's it, and thanks for watching.